Previous to my time in college athletics, I worked as a guidance counselor and high school basketball coach. I loved helping young people in their academic and athletic pursuits. One of the wonderful student athletes I was privileged to counsel and coach was Morgan Bailey. When I first met Morgan, she was a shy ninth grader who was tall, but not particularly athletic or skilled. But as I started coaching her, it was clear that she had potential to play the post position and the desire and work ethic to be great. One of the first skills Morgan and I worked on developing was how to effectively post up and receive all sorts of post entry passes. It's natural to think of receiving as something passive and dismiss its importance. We may envision passively sticking out our arms and letting someone else do the active work of providing us something. But receiving is an action word, and it is a skill that can and should be developed. Morgan practiced getting to the right spot with her knees bent, her elbows wide, and her hands up to create a big target. She learned how to hold off the defense and confidently call for the ball to communicate to her teammates that she was willing and ready to receive the pass. Morgan struggled to catch the ball at first, which was frustrating to her. But repetition after repetition, she practiced meeting the pass and seeing the ball into her hands. With consistent and continual practice, Morgan developed the skill of receiving and became a trusted target in the post. As disciples of Jesus Christ, we can become trusted receivers as we consistently and continually prepare and practice. Think of all we can receive as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We can receive all that the Father hath. We may feel clumsy or awkward in receiving revelation, but remember, as we practice with a humble and grateful heart, we gain confidence in our ability to hear Him.